Okay, so we want to place the species B2+, plus, B2, and B2- minus in order of, of increasing bond length and increasing bond energy. So in order to do this, we're going to need to write out their um, molecular orbital diagrams. And so we'll have B2 plus here and B2, B2 minus. Let's just separate these so that it's easier for you to distinguish between them. Now let's label them. So these are 2p. Let's start with our atomic orbitals. These are 2s. 2s. Our first sigma, our first antibonding sigma, our first pi, our second bonding sigma, our first antibonding pi, our second antibonding sigma, labeled similarly for the rest. Let's just start with B2. So let's start by putting in our atomic orbitals. So two there, two there, one for each, which means B2 plus, B2 minus will have an extra one. So two there, two there, one for each, plus an additional one. B2 plus will lose one. So two there. Two there, one, no second one. Okay, now let's combine them into our molecular orbitals. So we get two here, two here, and just one. Two here, two here, we have two, so we're gonna have two. Two here, two here, and we have three. So one, two, three. Okay, and so our Bond order is going to tell us um, about the bond length and the bond energy. So first, let's find the bond order for each. And we know bond order is equal to bonding orbitals minus antibonding over 2. So for this one, we have 1, one 2, 3. So we're going to have 3 bonding minus... To antibonding over 2. That's going to give us 1 over 2. Here, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 bonding minus 2 antibonding over 2. And that's going to give us 1. For this last one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to have 5 bonding minus 2 antibonding over 2. And that's going to be 3 over 2. And so now we need to determine the relation between the bond order and the bond length and the bond order and the bond energy. So we know the higher the bond order, the shorter the bond length, which means the higher the bond 
anyway. Bond order just refers to like how many bonds you have. So in the scenario where it's one, it would just be one. So for example, in the case of H2O has a bond order of one, one bond, one bond. Um, if it's two, then you're gonna have a double bond. So that would be like here, where you have a double bond. And that double bond will be shorter, which means that the two are closer to each other, which means that there's increased um, repulsion between their nuclei, which means less stabilization, which means more energy. And so, if we want to list them first in order of increasing bond length, that would mean decreasing bond order. So, that means so increasing bond length equals decreasing bond order. So we're first going to have theta over two, which is B two minus B two B two plus. So theta over two, one, one over two. And if we want an order of increasing bond energy. That would mean increasing bond order. So it would actually flip. So we go from one over two, so B2 plus B2, B2 minus one over two, one, three over two, three over two, one, one over two. And that's it. Thank you.